right, we have layered our casserole dish with our pancakes. Next, we're gonna come in with some fresh blueberries. So we're just gonna toss these right on top of those pancakes. Adding in some raspberries. I only did a few because I'm not the biggest fan of raspberries, but I do like the flavor it brings. So you can use more if you want or even skip it. And lastly, we're gonna do some fresh cut strawberries. Just placing those all around. So I sliced my pancakes in half so I could do a nice pretty layering on the bottom of the dish. We are taking pancakes to the next level today. It's super easy to do. It just makes it a little extra gourmet and of course extra delicious. Now we're just gonna place this to the side. I've got a bowl here with two eggs. Crack both of those in there. All right, take out that shell, we do not want that. And then we're gonna add in some milk. I'm gonna do about half of this small jar here. Perfect. And we're just gonna add in some cinnamon. We are basically doing kind of like a French toast, but with our pancakes and we're making it like a casserole. It's gonna be so yummy. And now we're just gonna take our whisk and give that a nice whisk. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good, you guys. And it's so easy to do. I just love casserole meals because you're just basically throwing everything into one dish. Easy peasy, super quick to make. Oh yeah. And you can add in some vanilla extract if you want into this mixture. I was not able to get mine open, so we're gonna work with this. We've already got sweetness from the pancakes, so honestly, I don't think it's needed. Oh yeah. So you just wanna make sure that the egg is perfectly mixed in there. All right, that looks beautiful. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and take that mixture and we're just gonna pour it right on top of our pancakes. You wanna do it evenly. Ooh, yum. Make sure to cover all of it, spread it around. Yummy, and that's it you guys. Our perfect breakfast is ready for the oven. I'm gonna cook it in there at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Check this out you guys, oh my gosh. Those blueberries just exploded in there, ooh. So good, okay. So it has kind of dried up a little bit. The cream did absorb, which is what we wanted. Makes the pancakes extra tasty. So I'm gonna add a little moisture with some syrup. I have some raw agave nectar. You could do maple syrup if you want, but I want it to be a little bit healthier. So we're just gonna do a nice drizzle. And if you haven't had this stuff, it literally tastes the same. It's just a little less sugar. All right, now it's time to dig in. I'm gonna go for this piece right here. Ooh, so juicy. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, there we go. That is the perfect piece. Look at that, you guys. Oh my goodness. Mm, it smells so amazing. You ready? Yeah. Oh my, these pancakes smell so good. Let me get a good bite. So perfect.